So what is this called? That gets my goat? Are you kidding me? Hey folks, time for another daily podcast, darn it. Yay. Oh shoot, there were two things. Yeah, two things that, that you wanted to no, ask about. No, two things that I, well three, oh. and we did one, but uh, I told you, hey, We've only got 28 of these we have to do. And you said, right. oh, I got some bad news for you, man. <laughs> That's right. You said this is a, a leap year. There's 29 of these we have to do. And I killed myself. No, I didn't. I've always thought leap year was really interesting. The idea of leap year and, and when it was first created and why and all that happy crappy. My, my friend Jerry, when I was a kid in town, he was born on the 29th of February and so, you know, all of us were 12 and he was three <laughs> or four, I guess. I, and it only had three birthdays anyways. To me, that was just mind boggling. His birthday was like Brigadoon. It only came around every so many years. That was, the, see, the best part is being his parents. You only had to give him a present every four years. <laughs> Save a lot of money that way. <laughs> <laughs> you would. So I, I, it's, a, it's a leap year. Do you have any... Thing that you like or dislike about leap years? Does that screw you up in any way to suddenly have another day? Because uh, I mean, we're just used to it, right? It's it's another day. Yeah, it's a short month anyway, and it just happens to have an extra day. But not really. I don't know. I mean, I always think it's kind of interesting that there's an extra day. I mean, I understand it. A, a, a day isn't exactly twenty four hours. It's like 24 hours in a second or something. I don't know what it is exactly, but, you know, it's a tiny bit more than what it is. So every few years, they just got to make up for it so that our calendars can make sense. See, I always thought that they should have the 29th of February be like this huge party day. <laughs> no, seriously, like a celebration because it only like, comes every four years. Should be like carnival. Yeah, exactly. There's lots and lots of undulating bosoms. And no, uh, like, you know, we have New Year's or we have Christmas or we have the 4th of July or we have Arbor Day, the greatest of the holidays. And those are year in, year out. But things like Election Day or the World Cup, you know, these yeah, these the come Olympics. every four years. And, and just to have a day that is set aside, you know, for celebration or whatever, it just seems like a, a no brainer, like a given. Yeah, it's like, why sense. nobody works on that day and everybody has fun and all grievances are, are forgiven for one 24 an hour and one second period. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's funny that nobody has ever suggested that. It's funny that Roosevelt didn't say from here on. Wait, that's Kennedy. Somebody should have said. It's a day of celebration. Yeah, Roosevelt really should have because he had enough clout that it would have blown from there on out. It would have been set in stone. He was a president long enough, too, that, you know, he could have presided over like four leap year days. <laughs> it's very possible. Yeah. Well, there's that movie. You saw that movie, right? Or Groundhog you... Day. Yeah. No, Leap Year, it was called. Had Amy Adams in it and some Irish dude or something like that. I didn't that. see it, oh, but I know you it? did. Yeah, I did see it. It was all right. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I like Amy Adams. See, I don't. Um, but I heard what it was about and I was like, oh, dude, what a great – because it's like we're always talking about magical realism. Yeah. See, I love that idea of something becomes magical. What was the one where the girl throws a coin in a fountain and actually her wish comes true or – she wishes for love and like every guy that throws a coin in the fountain falls in love with her or whatever. I was just like, what a great idea. Still haven't seen the movie, but what a great <laughs> idea for a movie. Yeah. The funny thing was that the leap year movie wasn't magical realism at all. It was just, Oh, see, I thought yeah. on one day of every four years, any man fall, has to fall in love with a woman that asks him to marry or any man has to marry. What was it? It was just when a woman asks a man to marry her. It was like when a body leap. meets a body coming like, through the. It ride. was like leap day is the day that women can ask men to marry them. It's like the special day where all the customs are thrown on their head. Topsy turvy day, you know. The hunchback of Notre Dame is now the best looking guy in town. He's the king of fools or whatever. And all that. Dane Cook is funny. Yeah, it's just a right. backwards kind of day. Yeah, it was just one of that, that kind of thing. It was just basically like, hey, we have this tradition. It was supposedly the Irish tradition. And so this woman wants to 
marry her boyfriend and he just won't ask her to marry him oh he's commitment phobic as yes. all men in movies are right and so finally she decides to go to ireland and on leap day ask this guy to marry her her boyfriend is irish her boyfriend is not irish no he oh. i think he just happens to be in ireland on business or something ah, like that okay. so she goes there things happen and she gets stranded elsewhere doesn't make it to ireland has to come across from England like on a ferry to get there. And then she has to get driven from this tiny little Irish seaport town to where her boyfriend is. And she winds up with a romantic comedy relationship with the guy that drives her there. So it's it's one of those kind of movies. But that's an interesting kind of a tradition. It's like you're talking about the tradition of... It could be Sadie Hawkins Day, I guess. I don't know. You know, it's that kind of a thing. It's, is there a Sadie Hawkins Day? No, I don't think so. It's just every year each school has the dance that the girls get to ask. But that's the kind of idea, at least as far as that movie went, was, you know, it's Girls Ask Guys Day. But yeah, I, I totally uh, agree with you. The, the Leap Day needs to be something like that. It needs to be, maybe we need to start it. On Leap Day, we're having a huge party and we're inviting all sorts of people, even ones we don't like. <laughs> and we're just going to party like it's 1999. So we're all dressing up in 90s clothes and playing 90s music. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it would take. Because even if Barack Obama said, this year, no businesses are going to be open. It's a celebratory day. And a week before, we're going to give everybody a small stimulus check. That hopefully you will use either to buy drugs for or preparations. No, the, that you will use on this celebration. Just everybody have fun and let's see if, you know, everybody in this country smile for one day. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. There you go. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> a terribly I underrated Bar song. I could just see Barack Obama up there saying that. You know, that's what we need to do. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody, Everybody Wang, Wang Chung, Chung tonight. tonight. Amen. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine who it would have to be. Uh, yeah, it, it would, would have to be somebody insanely powerful like Bill Gates is, is a multi-zillionaire. Warren Buffett is a, a multi-zillionaire. Somebody with that kind of clout. All of these people and Bono get together and declare. Leap Day, the special every four year hedonistic party day and it doesn't have to be <laughs> a negative aspect of it you know just i like the idea of you know it's like hey there should be no frowns on this day forget about your worries just for a little while because this isn't going to happen for a long time you know it's like Halley's comet or something although i think that's like 65 years or something like yeah, that Yeah, a little less often <laughs> We'll be lucky if you and I see it again. Oh, I certainly won't. It could be coming in three years. and I. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I, I guess that's me trying to turn a frown into a smile. Upside down. Yeah, turn a frown upside down at McDonald's, Ronald and you. That's it. I just wanted to say that. I guess there's one more episode we have to do. And let's consider this one it. We, we have done one more episode. Yeah, there you go. Maybe this can be the Leap Day episode. Oh, uh, I don't know. Bye. See you. That Gets My Goat is produced under Creative Commons Attribution, Non-Commercial, No Derivatives License. This show is lame. As lame as Rich Outfield. But you, like if we had a picture of friggin' Pamela Anderson or Jemmy McCarthy on the wall, we were the fucking perverts, you know? And I, I understand that... Seeing two little children copulating isn't the same as Jenny McCarthy. Okay, what what are you doing? Sorry, I'm just looking up. I'm trying to see if I can find one of those shots from my wedding reception. Oh, with okay. A, you keep talking about Jenny McCarthy. Okay, no, I'll have to read phrase all of that.